Hello again, everyone. Welcome back to Suikoden 5. All right, just wanted to uh, quickly show off the uh, uh, pictures that I've put up in uh, Ald's room. Uh, this one is The Smile with uh, Leon, Miyakis, and Sea Leads. And this one is Dusk, which is what we got from the Ancient Creeper, I believe. And, of course, I've got a Karaya pot there, a gold uh, pot there, and a bamboo... Um, plant there. Let's go see what uh, we have here in the in the comment box. New arrivals. Lord Lake from Galleon. In addition to welcoming me here, there is something I'd else for which I would like to thank your royal highness. I want to offer my sincere gratitude for saving my hometown. Yeah, no problem. That brute from Hazuki. Had I known that Gavaya was in Felena, I never would have come here. A request from Shigure. <laughs> Please stop making our agency investigate that woman in black. They always stick me with the job. No matter how sneaky I try to be, she always catches on and gives me dirty looks. I've had it. Oh, no, uh, no, no mention that she's a pain. Aw. Roy from Miyakis. His eyes are a little different, but there really is a resemblance. He'll never fool, fool me or the princess, though. Ah, Yay, Miyakis knows me well enough. Actually, I can't put uh, Roy in my party right now, which uh, was a little annoying since I wasn't able to uh, use him to go get more money. Oh, well. Uh, Doremi Elf Maestro from Rania. He makes the same sounds Doremi Elves do. Is he human? Uh, the jury's out on that. Untitled from Babbage. It's a blueprint of a mechanical device. Unfolded, it covers the entire floor. Of course, no explanation. A big snake from Maroon. I saw this incredibly huge pure white snake in the lake. I'm serious. Y yeah, I, I, I know. that. It, it, she's joined our, our army. Final warning from Zarase. I'm not going to warn you again. All right, uh, let's see, what else do we have? Ah, yes, we have another old book. I don't know why I came down the stairs. So, uh, what I was doing with the, the party right now was uh, Raven in the party, um, because he has Thief ability, Norma in the Entourage, because she is Potchfinder. Egbert, of course, is Potchfinder. Not sure if they're cumulative or not, but I figured it can't hurt. And, of course, me with all the prosperity stuff. <clears throat> yes, we can change back to voice set one. Thank you. Ah, what a fine sound. Let's see how this one goes for a while. I got a book for you. Ah, this tome you have fetched for me is precisely what I desired. Hand it over, Old Book 6. Old Book 6, the legendary Sindar race. One, two, okay, so we're missing three and four. We're missing three and four, and that's it. The legendary Sindar race. Long ago, a mysterious people we know today as the Sindar dwelled in the land of Felena. Their civilization was far more technologically advanced than ours is today. Scholars say, however, that the Sindar left this land for reasons unknown, never to return. The Sindar race left behind many things to convince us of their existence. For example, the ruins in the deep twilight forest were built with technology that far surpasses anything we have now. No expert doubts that this, is, this was a dwelling of the Sindar race. Some theorize, however, that the ultimate legacy of the Sindar race lies not only in the ruins such as those in the Deep Twilight Forest. Indeed, perhaps the legacy of the Sindar race is that it is, is this very land itself, Felena. These theorists contend that after the land was reduced to ashes with the extinction of the ancient Armas dynasty, the Sindar race mysteriously appeared, managing to return the rich green lushness to this beloved land. Nobody knows why the Sindar disappeared, but some scholars insist that this race has not yet gone extinct. 
These scholars say that the first Queen of Legend who descended to Lunas with the Sun Rune in hand was actually from the Sindar race. This theory may seem like mere speculation, however, one can indeed find many similarities between the seal statue of the Sun Rune and ancient Sindar relics. More proof of this intriguing theory is now being sought out by our best and brightest scholars. You know, actually, that, uh, that raises an interesting idea. Um, it's possible that the silver hair of the uh, royal family... Thanks for slowing down there, game. Uh, ...is a legacy of the Sindar race. I mean, obviously, we don't have... I, I'm, I'm going on this strictly on the idea that they may be descended from uh, uh, the Sindar. And that could be one of the reasons why they changed Jean's hair to indicate that she is not a Sindar. Just an idea. All right, no, we're, we're, we're going back. I don't have my ducks. If I had my ducks, then then maybe we'd, we'd be sticking with it. We're not going with Babbage's sounds. There we go. I have another window set for you. Oh, you brought a new window set. Let me have a little look. Window set five. Ah, green bamboo. We'll go with this one for a little while. Hmm, kind of like it. We'll see if it annoys me. Wait. Lunas. What the hell is with this random slowdown game? Although, Haswar is upstairs for some reason. Hurry up and end this barbarous human slaughter. I have to take Isato back to Alsaid. I smelled no human scent in the making of this structure. I guess that means that the Sindar weren't human. Oh, Leon, let's heal you! You're back. Yes, I am. How's Leon, Doctor? There hasn't been any change in her condition. She just keeps sleeping. It looks like you had some success. Though, as a doctor, I don't like to resort to a rune. I look angry the patient's there. The health comes first, so go ahead and use it. Yay! Worked. Oh, oh, thank goodness! Thank goodness, Leon saved! Oh, yay! I thought yay. I told you before not to make a racket in my infirmary. Yay. It's not like there's anyone else here. It worked! Oh. <laughs> oh, yay! Not gonna say anything, Alt, huh? N nothing at all? Hmm, interesting. She's glad it worked, I think. I assume. She's eavesdropping, though. That's awfully rude. Welcome back, my lady. Ah, Lele, pleasure seeing you here. I've completed my survey on the current threat level of various foreign nations, my lady. The island nations, Nagaria, and the kingdom of Zalant all show no signs of allying with... Lord Godwin. Where is the Kingdom of Zalant again? You know what? I want to pull out the map. Give me a second. I can figure out what I did with that tab. I don't remember where they're located. Ah, there's my tab. Uh, let's see... Oh! Seriously? Alright, so you guys remember back in Suikoden 4, uh, we were the island nations. To the west, uh, off the map, was uh, the Gaian Dukedom, which originally um, Razril and Middleport were parts of, and then they just kind of let them go. Well, Zalant is even further west than that. I, I don't know why they would be a threat. I mean, honestly, if Kuluk still existed, they'd be a bigger threat. I don't know, it's weird. 
Then again, considering that Belkut is from Kanakan, and Kanakan is uh, literally just off the co coast of Kuluk and uh, um, uh, the Scarlet Moon Empire, which at, the, at this point still exists. Despite this, we will continue to monitor the situation. I see. Send messengers to Sable and Estries. Tell them to increase their vigilance and prepare for immediate evacuation. Excuse me, my lady? Well, you didn't mention anything about Armus. If the Godwins were to launch an offensive, those two towns would be the first on their list of targets. And you're not even going to defend them, my lady? If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. Just see to it, please. Understood. Forgive my initial reservations. I should know better than to doubt my lady's wisdom. Well, yeah, but you are in private. You should ask her about it so that you can better understand her reasoning. Just saying. Hey, jerks. How's it going? Your Majesty, I must air my objections. If we take that course of action, we'll be... Be what? Rebels? Traitors? N no Your Majesty, that's not what I... I understand your concerns, but I have a plan for keeping things under control thereafter. This is what's best for Felena and Her Majesty the Queen. Stop questioning me, and commence with the operation. Hmm... Someone is objecting to something that Gazelle wants to do. Wonder what that could be. I already know what it is. <clears throat> Sorry. Yes, your commandership. Very well, then. Ah, and I've decided to add a new Queen's Knight for this operation. It's too much work otherwise. Hmm. Who could he be adding as a Queen's Knight? Another Queen's Knight? Enter! Seriously? Him? You have got to be kidding me. Well, hey guys, in case you didn't uh, know already that Gazelle was evil... Kildrick, in case you didn't realize. Prince, I'm coming in! Yeah, thought it was Miyakis. She has an odd walk. So, Prince, what do you say about seeing Leon again? Let's go, let's go! Alright, alright, stop tugging me! Or, in this case, pushing me. Come on, we have to go see if Leon is feeling any better. I don't think we'll be using her anytime soon, though. Uh, any new, uh... Letters? I've got dibs from Gavaya. I hear you're the one that brought Hazuki here. Good job, Knave. Just remember, don't get between us. She's gonna be all mine. Y I think she might say something other than that. I like how the, the letter is really dirty to indicate just how gross Gavaya is. Father and daughter thieves from Isato. So those two are here in the castle, are they? They seem to be working really hard for you, so I won't say anything. They have more than made up for their uh, uh, little transgression. The Filthy Devil Letter. Oh, a letter from Egbert. These are some of my favorites. You have to send exact copies of this letter to 27 people within 27 days. If you don't, you'll be a filthy devil. Filthy devil! Not gonna do that, Egbert. Sorry. That's enough from Shigure. I'm not doing it anymore. If you're so interested in that woman in black, do your own snooping. <laughs> the detectives from Cathari. They give off the same vibes as my cohorts. I wonder if I give off that vibe too. Talgil from Galleon. The other day I had a chance to ha have a heart-to-heart -heart talk with him. I feared he bore a grudge against me for not s saving Lord Rovere, but it turned out he feared the same of me. Well, that's good. And back to I've Got Dibs. Not that room. So that's Sealy's room still, of course. This is now Haswar's room. This castle's so big, I'm afraid I'll get lost. 
Why are your arms out at their, your side like that? It's just the two of us, right? Yep. Thought so. I'm sure the time to tell you about my past will come someday. Until then, all I can do is ask you to trust me. We'll go see Leon in a minute. Your Highness, let me tell you what I've learned. I had a feeling he'd be back. So... I decided to go for uh, Matthias this time. Matthias is Isabel's slave. <coughs> Excuse me. Assistant. They came together all the way from the northern continent, but they've had no trouble fitting in around here. I want to see if it'll say anything about him being from the warrior village. Yay, she's sitting up. Leon? Leon? Wait, what are you doing? You shouldn't be up up and about yet. Uh, uh, no, no, really. I'm all better now. Ow. All better, huh? I'll go get Dr. Silva. She's right. Oh, no, actually, she's not. That's Maraud. My bad. Prince, forgive me. There's nothing to forgive. What a sh foolish thing to do. If her wound had reopened, who knows what might have happened. Hey, I... She was doing it on her own. Sorry, Dr. Silva. It's just that I feel like something terrible is coming. Just lying here is driving me crazy. Something terrible? Hmm, hold on. Ah. Something terrible? I'm not sure who that this is. Oh, it's terrible, terrible, it's terrible! Ah, Prince, there you are! This is an infirmary, keep it down. Oh, uh, so sorry, this is serious though, it's terrible! Prince, we got a major problem on our hands. Like I said, it's terrible. What's wrong? Prince, wait for me. Oh, no, you're not getting up. No, Leon, you have to rest. But, but... Go, I'll keep an eye on her. Prince. Hey, hey, I'm the artist formerly known as. Lund joined the party. So, what's terrible, Lun? You didn't exactly tell us. Alright, well, I assume we go up here. What's up, guys? Your Highness, Your Highness, this is bad, very bad. We've received an urgent report stating that General Luger and General Novum are moving on Dorad as we speak. And apparently, a newly appointed Queen's Knight named Kilderick is in command of the operation. God damn it. Kilderick? Not the Kilderick from Nethergate! Eh, the one and the same. That is not the worst of it. We've received word that enemy forces are advancing on both Sable and Estris. Forces from Armus, the Armus Southern Mountain Corps is in, Corps in Sable, and the Armus Eastern Western Marine Corps in Estris. Armus? Oh no! Well, hey, that just means that we get to go uh, talk to uh, the Dragon Horse Cavalry and get them to move their butts. This is no coincidence. It's a joint operation, carefully planned. 
a deadly three-pronged attack. I can't believe they're in league with Armis. Have they been waiting all this time for the right moment to strike? I bet they have, damn cowards! I'm surprised Arvin Ar Armis even agreed to this. I wonder what terms Godwin offered. It must have been a really tempting deal for Armis to send such a substantial force. Dorat, Sable, and Estris won't last long against such might. Let's send reinforcements now! Uh, let's see what the plan is first. Now, let's send reinforcements now! No, wait, Prince! Lord Wilde, and I appreciate your concern for our hometowns. However, it is far too risky to send reinforcements. Let's jump back. What's the plan? Let's see. We don't have nearly enough troops to engage all three enemy forces. And if we focus on just one of them, we'll eventually be attacked by the other two. Instead, we'll adopt a defense in depth strategy against all three. We'll slowly draw them toward us, whittling their numbers down with repeated minor skirmishes along the way. Yeah, but shouldn't we be doing that during winter? I believe this is the only way to effectively use our limited forces. But what about Estris and Sable? They'll be... I'll sacrifice my town if need be! Thanks to Lucretia's early warning, the evacuation of Sable is well underway. And the Sable garrison is ready to defend, ready to defend the town. Armis, well may, Armis may well take my hometown eventually, but they will pay dearly for it. Yeah, and don't think we won't make him pay for it, pay in estries. Dorat's going to be a bit more difficult. The towns lean toward the Godwins from the beginning. Even if we tell them to evacuate, I doubt they'll all listen. That doesn't mean we shouldn't try. All right, leave it to me. I'll see see to it that Raft Fleet and the soldiers of Lelkar keep the enemy bottled up. Yes, concentrate on getting the citizens to safety, and wearing down the enemy for now. After that, we... M the Dragon Cavalry! Now that Armis is invading, they'll join the fight, right? Maybe? Oh. Wow, they've... Already taken estries. Damn it! We've have we been had? We took all those losses for this? An empty shell of a town? They must have fled in fear of the mighty Mahasparna, commander of the Southern Mountain Corps. Wait, isn't No oh, no that isn't Estris. Armis General, that is some hat. Hmm, this is not the kind of fight I signed up for. They're trying to pick us apart bit by bit. We'll have to stay on full alert at all times. It seems Prince Ald knows how to fight when greatly outnumbered. Commander Sparna, there's, he's nothing but Her Majesty the Queen's older brother. He's no longer Prince. He's a traitor. Details, details. Who cares about all that? To call him Prince is to deny the ascension of Queen Limsleia. Are you attempting to deny... Attempting to deny the ascension of Her Majesty the Queen, Commander Sparna? No, I see your point then. If the rest of the country is as tough as Sable, we are in for a fight. I'm starting to have second thoughts. You wouldn't by any chance want to sweeten the deal a bit, would you? I have absolutely no authority to renegotiate terms. After you've annihilated the rebel army, you may speak with his commandership, Gazelle, about a revised agreement. <laughs> annihilated, huh? No matter. I'll just take what I want for myself in the end. Why are the armed soldiers just standing there? I'm 
This looks like Zealous. Armist General. Hmm, a beauty of a port, don't you think? Commander Shulevalia, why hasn't your Western Marine Corps advanced? We need to quickly take Estris and join the siege against the Rebel Army. <laughs> don't spoil this moment with your boorish attitude. I wish to enjoy the splendid view just a bit longer. It's not too much to ask, is it? After all, I'm doing Gazelle quite a favor indeed. Commander, you're wasting time! We need not be so hasty. Many things come into view when one takes the time to observe. Carefully. Yes, indeed. Many, many things. Commander! Well, he seems a bit more astute than the others. I think he suspects, uh... Our ploy. A fair greetings to you, Sir Queen's Knight. A fine job ridding Dorat of those filthy rebels. Good show. We knew you'd come. Rebel army collaborators had control of the town, but we held out. Now our efforts have finally paid off. Our liberators have arrived. What the hell have you done to your face? Bah, where did this rebel army go? And where are their collaborators? Oh, they fled. You see, while we were busy welcoming you, my good Sir Queen's Knights, they... Gah! What have you done? Eek! Uh. Yeah, that's, uh, that's Kildrick for you. See, guys, you shouldn't have surrendered. N no, no, please! What do you think you're... So, you're saying that you let the Rebel Army get away, did you? Wouldn't you call that high treason? N no 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 we, we didn't let them get away! You don't understand! Mercy! Mercy, please! Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's definitely a word that he doesn't know the meaning of. <laughs> Die, pigs! They're not cops. Hey, hang their corpses in the town square. Make an example of them. Y y yes sir I like how they uh, they, re they really make sure to show just how evil the Godwin forces are. The two generals back there not being so much evil as loyal, but also not standing up for, you know not being evil. There are surely more traitors lurking. Search the area and search it good. You may kill any who resist. Or even if they don't resist. <laughs> this is insane. This can't be in Felena's best interests. If Lord Godwin commands it, we must obey. Silver, there's a difference between true loyalty and blind loyalty. Before we were able to evacuate everyone, we were able to evacuate everyone before Sable fell. Unfortunately, however, only about two thirds of Dorat got out in time. This was perhaps inevitable. Our troops are now attacking in waves. The operation is going exactly as planned, at least for now. But we started out with far fewer numbers than the enemy. We'll lose by attrition unless something is done. What about the Dragon Cavalry? No word from them yet. I'll go to Saronic's castle. I'll bring the whole Dragon Cavalry back with me, even if I have to smack Craig upside, his, upside the head. Uh, let's see. Uh, I don't think it matters. Um, I'll go with you. That's dangerous. Can we really afford to have the prince go by himself? I agree. His highness must be protected at all costs. No, his highness must go to Saronic's castle with Lady Miyakis. Let's just hop back and see uh, what, what this option is. No, I think it would be better to go see what's going on over there. 
Your Highness, you should go as well. There must be a reason why the Dragon Cavalry hasn't come yet. Alright, let me, uh, I like this option better. Like, taking the initiative. If it takes a personal request from the Dragonia army, so be it. But I'm afraid they'll only listen if we send his, ma his highness himself. Please wait, now that Dorat has fallen, that area is under Godwin control. If his highness goes by horse, they'll capture him at the bridge. By boat, they'll get him on the river. What about underground? I heard the cave dwarves dig holes all the way out west. I bet they'd even show us the way. That seems like our best option. Hey, you know that cave that we couldn't get into earlier? That might be that... what... uh... what that cave is. Your Highness, please visit the cave dwarves again then. See, it feels really slow in that room, and yet I'm not seeing any issues with the uh, frame rate. It's weird. Oh, Lun, there you are! Pop, perfect timing! We need to go ask the cave dwarves something, something real important. How about you come too, Pop? Huh? Dwarves, are you? No time for that. You coming or not? All right, all right. You roped me in. And besides, how's Pop going to say no to a cutie pie like you, Lun? Hey, don't embarrass me in front of the prince. I told you before. <laughs> All right, my cutie pie. Time to see good old Gunny again. Log joined the party. Unfortunately, they are going to leave uh, at some point during this mission. Uh, so we do need to be a bit careful about who we take. Any new messages? That Lunas Elf from Log. Hey, you, you, you must have dropped this off on your way upstairs. As soon as that elf saw us, he was all... His Highness of Prince's Castle is no place for common thieves. Of course, we did wrong back when, but that was a real long time ago. Can't he give us a break? I'll make sure that that's the case. Don't worry, Log. Get down the... Get, rah, get down the stairs, damn it. I do indeed wish to change my traveling companions. Alright, so... Uh, Lun and Log are required. Uh, we're gonna get two more characters uh, out there. So... It may be a good idea not to take uh, anyone in the entourage. I need to think about it. Um, I'll think about who we actually want to take. Uh, but for now, I should probably make sure that uh, Log and Lun are... Uh, Fixed up with uh, stats and everything like that. Yes, I am from Armus. But what difference does that make? A warrior is a warrior, no matter his blood. If that bothers you, I'll leave. I don't want to cause you any more trouble. I don't have a problem with it. I do indeed wish to train. Alright, so... I did get uh, Pierce up. But I think I probably want to get uh, some of these other... You know, get them some epic skills. Um... Maybe, uh, Armor of the Gods, Triple Harmony, or I may just not use them. I don't know. I, I need to think about it a bit. Uh, but I'll do that off camera. When we return, I'll have made a party, and we'll be ready to go. See you next time, everyone.